Hi and welcome to Ultrasign and uh, Robert. Uh, what do you yeah, have I, I will take the introduction as quick as I can because the uh, song is long. <laughs> uh, I want to play a song from a project. I don't know if I should call it a band uh, by Final Light. The song is called Final Light. Uh, no, it's not. It's Into the Void. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, Final Light is a band that is uh, comprised of uh, mainly two people. Uh, the first one being the French electronic artist called Perturbator, uh, which is someone who has gone really famous in the synth wave, dark wave scene. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's kind of like electronic music with some. Uh, uh, like doom metal references, influences. And um, anyway, uh, Final Light is a band by him and the singer from Cult of Luna. Uh, so it basically sounds like Cult of Luna with a lot of electronics and it's great. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. <laughs>
UK. Uh, wow. Mm, that was a fantastic and relaxing and uh, <laughs> you know, um, it 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 took me on on a on a on a journey in a way I think, uh, and I I start thinking about stuff, and then I started thinking about the movie The Crow, <laughs> and well the music in The Crow isn't like this, but if they ever do a new version of The Crow. This should be in the soundtrack, I think, because that gave me that feeling that that movie gave me dark and uh, gothic and just good. Yeah. And uh, Andreas, it looked on you that you got almost got in, in your pro producer mode, you know, that you just in listened a way, to. Yeah, <laughs> but this was uh, I just was taken away somewhere I, I closed my eyes most of this uh, I love this this was great it's like a very dark symphony uh, lots of energy in there and and it's still at the same time like meditation a weird uh, contrast but mm -hmm. it's all at the same time uh, yeah this was great I love this uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. This uh, kind of stuff, it could, you know, I don't know how long this was, but it could just go on for me. I mean, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, it may be, maybe that, that made, made me think about the soundtrack because it's more like this kind of music could f be much longer without being boring. Um, mm. And, and and have ups and downs and and stuff happens and now when with just this video uh, this is of the official video uh, in Zoom. this is the official yeah. video yeah I think I, I think that's brilliant to have something that you really don't have to care about sometimes mm. uh, you know um, this is like um, you know if, if screen savers even what was good even ever was good mm. this, this would would have been that. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, it's it's uh, you don't have to look at it, but if you look at it, you you can start uh, imagine things in, instead of uh, they wrote exactly what you should uh, think. Um, I think that video fit perfect to the sound um, yeah. because of the, that yearny feeling that I got, and, mm. and the video was uh, I couldn't uh, sometimes have fun for. I think I just have the film the sand on a beach, you know, or sometimes it's much stuff have could have happened uh, or it could it could be whatever. But uh, I think it's very it's very nice to have some some so different kind of videos sometimes to look at mm. that you don't have to concentrate on and because uh, of. Uh, mm. This music, I think, need that kind of, uh, yeah, like Andreas, that you almost can close your eyes and you take on your own journey. You don't have to care yeah, about the this, music video. This was just, uh, yeah, it's like meditation, but also. Uh, yeah, it's not boring. It's, it's not no, like no, no. I mean, things, yeah. uh, it, something is happening all the time and it's different gears in, in, dynamic and energy but it's it's still kind of static in a way uh, the feeling is static mm. from beginning to end and I, I that's very clever I it's great music yeah it's more about uh, those two artists are uh, well familiar with songs that uh, uh, with more mosh pit sounds, uh, but this is more like uh, you sit down in a venue and hear them perform this in a uh, more classical concert venue. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, I just want to mention the history behind the piece to begin with. Um, they okay. actually got commissioned uh, by Roadburn Festival, which is one of the largest festivals in the world for uh, alternative music, uh, alternative metal, uh, mostly, and 
that means that uh, they got uh, uh, assigned to perform together on stage, but only to perform uh, original uh, music. So that they couldn't perform any songs that they have written before or okay. that has been heard before. So they were uh, they uh, recorded this in uh, uh, France and in Stockholm, uh, mostly. Um, uh, like uh, uh, most of the piece is uh, like uh, you send uh, audio files <laughs> to one each other and uh, they did not really meet during the process uh, that much from what I've heard. Uh, so they were supposed to perform this at the uh, Road One Festival 2020, but that got cancelled. So it got uh, delayed to uh, 2021 and that got cancelled. <laughs> And now they got to perform it for the first and only time uh, last week when uh, uh, Road One had its 2022 uh, uh, version of the festival. So um, it must have been weird uh, for two artists that are known to like perform, uh, um, perform often and uh, release quite often as well to have basically one hour of original music that they are not allowed to play uh, uh, mm -hmm. until they have performed it live at the festival. So it has been basically dormant and just waiting to be released. And then yeah. it got released uh, just two days ago, one week after the festival. So I found it really fascinating that uh, this piece of music may not be, uh, in another world, it may not even have been released because COVID yeah. and everything, but now it's here after two years and just being left at it as it was two years ago when they uh, composed it and recorded it under a really tight time schedule. I think they only had a few weeks to write the entire piece uh, of what, like one hour music. So um, this song is one of those, it doesn't work as a single because it's not a single. It's, it, it really is a concept album and you are supposed to listen to it from beginning to end, really. And the album is about to be released in a month, I think. So I really look forward to that for, to get the whole experience. Yeah. That's fantastic, I, actually. I'm gonna buy that album. This yes, is... and uh, sorry. No, uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go and I think we should uh, uh, attach a link to the album. It can only be uh, found on their official Bandcamp. Uh, and uh, you, for those who want, uh, can buy vinyls or whatever, but you can buy the digital version of the album for <laughs> only half a euro. So it's basically oh. you pay what you can, but uh, they want at least half a euro for the entire album. So that's <laughs> quite cool. Uh, but uh, the physic, uh, the physic uh, albums are released too, or yeah, uh, the vinyls are about to be shipped in the end of June because it's really hard to uh, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, uh, get vinyls out right yeah, but now but if, you, if you, and everything. But if you pay a, ho a half euro for an album, you can pay, you can buy the, uh, <laughs> vinyl too. I think mean, it's not. <laughs> yeah, so I think most of their <laughs> most hardcore fans are going to do that. But I really enjoy that they are like, you can have the digital version of the album basically for free. You just have it. We want you to have it, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for that, uh, Robert. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, cool. me too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.